Hey guys, Rhonda Draculas here, RK3 Designs. We've got a super fast finish, so don't blink. We're gonna start off with a board that's been primed with bare paint and primer in one in Broadway. Any black will work. Um, and I have got my stone coat countertop epoxy, and today I'm using craft coat. And the reason I'm using craft coat is because I'm doing a sample board and craft coat gives me the ability to do more crafts, more sample boards with uh, a little bit more economical factor in it. Does it cost quite as much? However, it does not have the UV protection and the scratch resistance that the regular stone coat countertop epoxy has, but it's perfect for what I need it today. Here we go. So I've tinted the epoxy with straight black dye. And the dye I'm using today is a Lumalite. I also get that from Stone Coat Countertop on their website. It's a little cool in here today. So my product is a little thick. I had the bottle sitting in front of the um, heater, little space heater. But I think I'm gonna uh, heat it with a torch a little bit before we get started so it makes it a little easier for me to uh, spread it out. All right, using my hand, since it's a very small board. And like I said, this is a super fast finish. I think this finish would be fabulous in maybe a kitchen where you needed an accent piece, maybe your island, where you, you still want the monotones of the black and the white, but you just wanted it to maybe have one piece that popped. So get my edges. Anytime that you make your a sample board, or even if you're pouring on a uh, existing surface, you want to make that sure your edges are rounded over, that you don't have any 90 degree angles. And the reason is that when the epoxy flows over, if you have a rounded edge, it'll just flow so much easier. It won't uh, build up due to surface tension. It won't build up and cause a lip. All right, I'm gonna torch it out. Work out any kind of surface tension we may have. All right, so now we're gonna have to hurry up and wait. I, the next step that I do, we're just gonna fog it with some white spray paint, but I like to let my epoxy set up just a little bit and um, so that my cells stay and they don't run as much. Depending on whatever your temperature is in your room is gonna dictate how long you wanna wait. It's probably 68, 70 degrees in here right now. So um, I know that my finish is going to be kind of thick. So I'm gonna let it sit for probably 20 minutes or so. So we'll be back in just a second. You've been asking for a while now, and secretly, we've been working for months. We're beyond excited to announce Online Epoxy Pro. This is the ultimate way to learn everything you need to start, grow, and succeed as an epoxy professional. We've created this course to be your comprehensive resource and guide to success. Whether you're starting from ground up, or adding epoxy services to your existing business, this course provides all of the information you need. Online Epoxy Pro helps you master everything from the basics of epoxy and creating finishes to constructing and pouring countertops, backsplashes, and showers. We'll be including all our business secrets on pricing, bidding, contracts, marketing, and more. You'll have lifetime access to over 100 videos, as well as downloadable documents and exclusive benefits, including our private community and valuable discounts. Online Epoxy Pro provides the opportunity to learn the epoxy trade in your own home at your own pace. It differs from our in-person classes as this online course combines all of the information from Epoxy 101, pro class and designer finishes into one incredible resource. Guys, I really want you to understand how much passion we have for this online class. We love our hands-on workshops 
We love meeting people, but we also understand there are so many of you that cannot travel and you still want that information. You still want that value. You still want to be able to start your own business. And this is why we are presenting this uh, online course is for you guys. There's so much more that we can't wait to tell you about. But for now, you need to know that Online Epoxy Pro will be available for pre-sale starting April 6. Visit our website, onlineepoxypro.com to be notified when it's ready and get a sneak peek of what's inside the course. Okay, we're back. It's been 15 minutes, so here we go. White spray paint. We're gonna fog it, and then we're gonna spray it. Usually when I do this, guys, I do wear a mask, but I'm not able to when I'm doing a video. Our epoxy doesn't have any VOCs, the only VOCs you're gonna get is with the actual spray paint. So here we go. Now we're gonna hit it, shake up my mica powder. This is a bright silver mica powder mixed with 91% isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna actually put it in my hands because I wanna get some big, big drops on here. Okay, so that's enough color. I'm gonna come back now with just plain 91%. Hit. And that is it, guys. We're gonna just let this do its thing. And it'll take about 30 minutes and you're gonna start seeing some really cool patterns, but you don't want to put too much alcohol on here. And if you do, what happens is that alcohol causes your pattern to really move. And when you come back in about an hour or so, your pattern is all gone. So you just wanna walk back, let it do its thing, and have fun watching. Okay, so it's been just a couple of minutes and I am noticing I'm getting really big blotches of black and that's cool, but I really want there to be more white. So I've let my alcohol dissipate. You don't wanna go straight back over a spot that has alcohol with spray paint. It'll give a different look. So I've let that alcohol dissipate and I'm gonna now just spot hit it white. And then I can come back and hit it again. There, and refracture it. I like that. Give me some bigger drops. There we go. All right. I like how it's bringing up different shades of, of the gray. It's the white and the black are mixing, and it's really giving some different tones of gray. That's what's really fun about this finish. But you got to really be careful because you will nag it to death. And I'm really bad about that. So I got to walk away, leave it alone. Okay, guys, I know I told you I was going to walk away, but you know, just it is what it is. So I've mixed up a little bit of extra uh, epoxy and I tinted it aluminum. Okay. And I'm just going to play a little bit. We're just going to see what happens because I just want a little bit of metallic in this finish to even take it to the next level. So it's pretty thick. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna start off the table so that I don't have big blobs. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do some designs. Just gonna kind of follow some of the designs that are on the table already or on the finish already. And I wanna do this very thinly, very thin lines. So you'll notice when I start, I don't start on top of my piece. I start off the table so I can get those big blobs to fall off there. First, and then come in so that I have a very thin stream. Again, this is super random. Lots of fun here. 
Some of my lines are a little thicker than others. So those lines are gonna spread out a little thicker than the tiny little lines I have. And they come back over here and add a few more thicker lines. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna see what happens. I might not be done, but it might be done. But it might not, but it might be. I think I am. So I hope you liked this video. Super easy, super quick, super recreatable. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for future notifications, and leave me some comments. Did you like this? Would you have added metallic paint? Would you have maybe fogged with a different color? Or even a different background base color instead of black, maybe a brown. So let me know. I enjoy hearing from you guys. Don't be scared, move forward, and be creative.